After World War II, Germany lays in ruins, and its capital, Berlin, was a focal point of the Allied occupation. The victorious powers divided Germany into four occupation zones, controlled by the United States, the Soviet Union, Great Britain, and France. Berlin, although located deep within the Soviet zone, was similarly divided into four sectors. As the ideological divide between the Soviet Union controlled East and the Democratic West grew, tensions escalated. By 1949, the division was formalized with the created the two separate states. This division was formalized with the creation of two separate states, the Federal Republic of Germany or West Germany, the German Democratic Republic or East Germany. Throughout the 1950s, East Germany faced severe economic challenges and political repression. Meanwhile, West Berlin, supported by Western powers, experienced economical growth and greater political freedom. The stark contrast led to the mass exodus of East Germans to the West, seeking better opportunities and freedom. You can see stuff like that in my other video why is Germany so rich, where it talks about stuff like this. Alright, next on. By 1961, approximately 2.7 million East Germans had defected to the West, many through Berlin. The East German government, facing a severe labor shortage and potential economic collapse, needed to stem this flow. Under the direction of the Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, I don't know if I said that right, and East German leader Walter Uberst, once again, don't know if I said that right, a drastic plan was devised. In the early hours of August 13th, 1961, East German soldiers began constructing a barrier that would soon become known as the Berlin Wall. What started as barbed wire fence quickly transformed into a formidable barrier made of concrete slabs, watchtowers, and wide death strip equipped anti-vehicle trenches, guard dogs, and trip wire machine guns. The Berlin Wall stretched over 140 kilometers, and circling West Berlin and cutting them off from East Germany. The sudden erection of the wall divided families, friends, and the city. East Berliners found themselves trapped with a little hope of escape. For the next 28 years, the Berlin Wall would stand as a stark symbol of the Cold War, representing the physical and ideological divide between the East and the West. Despite the danger, many East Berliners made a daring escape attempt. Tunnels were dug beneath the wall, families floated over it in hot air balloons, and others used makeshift vehicles. However, these attempts were risky and over 100 people lost their lives trying to cross the wall. In 1989, the peaceful resolution swept through East Germany. Hundreds of thousands of citizens took to the streets, demanding democratic reforms and freedom of movement. The government, overwhelmed by the scale of intensity by the protests, was forced to respond. On November 9th, 1989, a government spokesperson mistakenly announced that the East Germans could immediately cross the border into West Berlin. That night, thousands of East and West Berliners gathered at the wall, and in an extraordinary and joyous moment, they began to cross freely and dismantle the wall. That nice. The fall of the Berlin Wall marked us the end of an era. It was not only a reunification of Berlin and Germany, but also as a symbol of collapse against communist regimes across Eastern Europe. The events of the night paved the way for the German reunification, which formally took place on October 3rd, 1990. Today, remnants of the Berlin Wall stand as powerful reminders of the divided past, a testament to the resilience and hope of those who lived through it. Berlin has transformed into a vibrant, unified city, embodying the spirit of freedom and unity. The Wall's history has a progeant reminder of the human desire for liberty and the power of peace revolution.
The story of the Berlin Wall is a journey from division to unity, a tale of human struggle, courage, and ultimately triumph. It serves as a lasting lesson of the importance of freedom and enduring power of love. Thank you.